Ladies and gents, hello and welcome. My name, of course, is Little Bit of Potato. This is Real Politics. Now, in the last episode, we did get to a little bit of conquering, and we are going to need to go back to doing some more conquering uh, in good time, but unfortunately, uh, we cannot do it at the moment because we are at peace for another little while, so that's going to that's gonna kind of suck. Uh, maybe it's going to be worth me eventually biting that warmonger penalty, but for now, there is other fish to fry. Singapore is still ready and waiting to be conquered. Uh, we haven't declared war on them yet, but I'm interested. I am interested. Now, uh, the reason that we've sort of held off on doing that is because diplomatic missions... Uh, is currently ongoing, and uh, we kind of want to get that up to speed before we uh, attack, but that's not a problem. Uh, what's our what's our current levels at, actually? Our warmongering levels. What are they at right now? 104. I, I don't really have anything to compare that to. I suppose that that's probably quite a lot, but I, I, I don't really know. Uh, improve our GDP. Our GDP is improving. If we look at the economy, GDP... It's a little, a little bit to go, but hey-ho. It's too quiet around here. Ready the generals and let's go to war. I don't think there is going to be any shortage of war, let me tell you that. Let me tell you that. Whoa, 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 whoa. Singapore joined the block of Japan. Oh, no. I, I, I don't even know why I'm worried. Like, let's be real here. Uh... They have 67 troops. I have way more than that. Although, I am rather perturbed by the fact that these guys decided to leave me before I was really happy with uh, with them leaving, so that's a little bit of an annoyance. Uh, how are North Korea liking us? Not very much. Russia... What the heck is that? Are they being targeted by the UN as well? Can I invite Russia? Whoa, what the fuck is up with my voice? Uh, can I invite Russia to my block? Is that a possibility? I imagine that Russia has their own block. Wow, holy shit they do. Diplomatic success, improved relations with Vietnam. That's fine. Okay, so I guess I can't invite uh, Russia to my block. I can't ask to be part of Russia's block either. Because I don't think that's possible. Uh, Russia would like to create a permanent connection with Kalingrad to do this. They need control. Uh, uh, there's nothing that I can do. Uh, Thailand's uh, place in the stock exchange has been degraded. Let's rectify that right now. Uh, let's spend the action points because, believe me, it's worth it. Not like it really matters, actually, at all. Uh, because our current cash status is hella wealthy. So, there you go. Let's resume. Uh, what about South Korea? I, I don't suppose they like me very much, do they? No, no, no not really. Uh, we're second in the world. That is annoying, to say the least. But we are getting uh, spy networks, which does something? I guess? I don't really know what it does. Okay, Germany's spying on me. Damned Germans. No one else is interested in joining my block, are they? Nope. No, no one, no one anywhere is interested in joining my block. Everyone pretty much hates me. Understandably so. I am a, uh, I wouldn't say prolific warmonger, but a warmonger enough to annoy people. Um, the next thing that we're probably going to go for is probably something that reduces warmonger penalty because currently uh, our warmonger penalty, it's not the only thing holding us back. There's a lot of stuff holding us back, but it's the main thing that's holding us back. So uh, I think we want to try and get rid of it as soon as possible. I still don't know anti-warmonger. Uh, is this being... No, that's not being implemented. Uh, sanctions against authoritarian. Am I authoritarian? I, I don't actually know if I'm authoritarian. Spy action. Someone conducted nuclear sabotage. Uh, that's not okay. Uh, we're totalitarian right now, so... I'm okay with this. I don't even know what that pop-up was, but hey-ho. 
uh, spy networks, good stuff. Let's pause. Now, let's try and look at Warmonger. Diplomatic offensive, what does this do? Relations with the whole world, Warmonger decrease over time. 27 days! It takes almost no maintenance at all. That's pretty much the best case scenario for us, I think. That's awesome. It's really, really good. Uh, and plus the extra relations cannot hurt. Military intervention, R Russian military intervention, peace with the Philippines. I still don't under really understand what this, this military intervention does. Attack on totalitarian. I mean, the microloans is kind of cool, but hey-ho. Attack approval. Universal attack permission against one country. Sure. Let me attack Singapore. Oh, no one, no one wants to help me? <laughs> That's how you get attack approval, apparently. I didn't realize it until now, but hey-ho. Oh, shit, lobbying. Uh, sure, can I lobby Japan? Oh, no, it just, it just straight up didn't work. I didn't even know you could lobby people. That's really cool. New mechanics, always, always being discovered. We have 8% of the support. That's, that's not bad. It's not bad. Not bad at all. Well, it's terrible, actually. It's bloody awful. Croatia joined the block of Germany. It doesn't really matter. Um, see, we're fine for money now. There's nothing that we can really do that will change anything. GDP growth, personal control, population growth, war loss. Uh, militarism, militarism target, unhappiness target, kamikaze, militarism, unhappiness target. Let's just continue to look for warmonger penalties. Diplomatic missions, uh, how long does that take to implement? Why can I not implement this? Oh, <laughs> it's because we're doing it at the moment. Uh, that makes sense. Okay, so diplomatic missions is underway. Relations with the whole world, 480 days. I don't really have the time to spend on that, to be honest. Uh, we really probably shouldn't be importing all of this stuff right now. Deactivate both of this because we've got the mining infrastructure in place. So I guess that's kind of a lot. We've got kind of a lot uh, of stuff already. Uh, what do we want? What do we want? I think we want score to try and get back on top of things. But I don't want to be building stuff for bloody years because fuck that, you know? Um. What was... We needed to do that one thing to upgrade our industry profile, didn't we? Yeah, we still can't upgrade our industry profile because we don't have the appropriate HDI. So let's sort by HDI and start having a little look and see what's possible. Think tank support was the thing that I thought we needed. But then we got degraded internationally and that kind of sucked. So we can either try and go for... Uh, something that gives me a bunch of HDI or we can try and go for stuff that gives score. But the problem with going for score is that a lot of these things take a long, long time. Uh, spy networks, diplomatic missions will give us score but nothing of real value. Uh... 100 score. 100 score is quite considerable, I suppose. Let's let's go for it. It's going to take bloody ages and it's going to it's going to clog up our research slots, but we'll do it whatever. Uh also, how am I losing How am I losing so many uh action points? This is a question that I'm wondering. I don't know if this is actually going to go ahead, but weird. Um, is there any way that I can see active projects? Project maintenance. Here we go. Sort by action point. Diplomatic offensive, 309. Basic health service. Population growth. Let's get rid of this, I guess, then, right? Save me some action points. It's not enough action points, but it's a good start, I suppose. 
I guess all of the action points are coming from the diplomatic offensive. Which is the problem. But we can't compromise on that. We're going to have to just keep on going. We're going to have to keep on pushing through. Which does kind of suck, but hey-ho. Uh, I don't really want to spend any money on this, but I think I kind of want to because it's worth it for the score bonus. Hmm. Yeah, even though we are wasting our precious action points, I know, I know. I think it's still worth doing. Because we've got a lot of cash, and we need to make sure that we turn that cash into success on the uh, global stage. So we'll try to do that. Mining infrastructure is taking a long time to uh, get done. 84 warmonger penalty. I say we attack at like 60, give or take. I mean, we're already one of the two highest in the world. So uh, Russia is going to be military into militarily, or can be militarily intervened upon. Uh, we also can uh, be intervened upon, which strikes me as rather troublesome. There we go. We wasted all, I say wasted, we used up all of our, uh, all of our action points, so no more opportunity to do that. There is, there's no, like, technology that allows us more research slots, is there? Pretty sure that there's not. Which kind of sucks. I would love the opportunity to get some more research slots. That would be real good. Uh, five action points. See, what's the point of five action points? It doesn't seem reasonable. Like, surely make it worth something more than that. High warmonger levels in China. Yeah, I know. I've been busting an ass cheek to try and sort things out. But as it stands, still pretty, pretty damned high warmonger levels. Unfortunately. Um, no way for us to ask people if they want to join the club. Vietnam kind of loves us right now. Help country. Could help the country. Oh, it's all about the numbers. Improve your GDP. 700 action points. Perfect. That's grand. Uh, do you want to join the block? We need five more relations with them. We could... Could sacrifice some of... Uh, oh, great. Uh, we could sacrifice some of our... Uh, HDI in order to help them out. But I'm not really interested in doing that in the slightest. So we're not going to. Uh, should religious symbols in public spaces be allowed? Allow religious symbols, ban all of them without prejudice. Sure, allow them. I don't care. I'm I'm filthy rich. Uh, we're attacking when we get to 60 war score, or 60 warmonger penalty, should I say. So, that's kind of nice. What's the next task? General improvement theory, Star Wars theory, or Star Wars project. Damage reputation. But my score did increase? I... I okay. Attack approval resolution will not be introduced. About that, that's not, that's not nice. I can't revoke, I can't do shit. How did, I'm, I thought I proposed microloans. In fact, I'm convinced that I did propose microloans. Hmm, that's not so, that's not so hot. Uh, Bhutan joined the block of Japan. That's really annoying because the block of Japan is the block in which we are attacking. Or going to be attacking. Not like it particularly matters, but... Eh. Uh, do we have any more military uh, thingies to purchase? Maybe buy a couple more ships. Ten more ships. There we go. Buy some more armor. Half in armor, half in inventory, or by the rest in inventory. There we go. So, it's pretty much as much as we can possibly buy, uh, given the circumstances. Wait a second, what the fuck? We are not limited at all. We are limited. Member generates no income. What? What? 
okay, I don't pretend to understand how that works. I'm just going to leave it and hope that India eventually gets uh, their button gear. Uh, war between Russia and Latvia. Stock exchange opened by India. Well, there you go. That's why... That's why they, they fucked us there. Fuck you, India. Fuck you. In fairness, it's probably about time that you did something like that, but whatever. Uh, anyway, as I was saying, I just realized the amount of military that we have is utterly insane, and there is no reason as to why we should not have uh, loads and loads of military. This very popular uh, oppositionist that keeps gathering more and more supporters around him. Soon he may end up being a real danger to us. Perhaps we should do something. Uh, leave him alone. Unha I'm just going to leave him alone. Whatever. Don't really care. Uh, building boats, building inventory, building armor, building all of that good stuff. Let's buy as many new planes as possible. We're fine for money. It's just action points that we are, uh, that we are being costed. Which is slightly annoying. How's Malaysia doing? Are you in the block of Japan? Yeah, or, no, you're in the block of Indonesia. That's, that's okay. Uh, the Philippines, uh, our truce is still ongoing, but you're not in a block currently. That's fine. Hungary is looking to assert control, heavy populated area. That's, that's okay. North Korea, I still don't understand why North Korea didn't, uh, didn't help out. I'm going to improve relations with Russia. Why not? And then, directly after that, I'm going to declare war on... Yeah, we're down at almost 60. Going to declare war on Singapore here. I think this is the right thing to do. It will lead to a skirmish of epic proportions, but I think it's worth it. It says war against Japan, but I, I, I guess that's not entirely uh, true. I guess it kind of is true, I suppose. Uh, where does it show up? I, I, I didn't want to go to war with Japan. I want to make that clear. Hey, great. 50 score, loads of money, loads of action points. It's the action points that I care about most, I think. Equal odds for all of these? Supply lines capture, then. Let's do that. Uh, army should be much bigger. Reach at least 75% of your total army limit. Yeah, speaking of army being much bigger... I do actually want to train literally hundreds more army members. This is silly. We shouldn't be training them all in inventory. Just remember, we're only limited by action points. That's what limits us here. Not anything else, just action points. All right. Grand army, that's very achievable considering my uh, goals in this campaign, which is obviously to bring destruction to anyone who stands in my way of my objective to capture a bunch of territory, which I shall do to the best of my ability. But I don't know how this conflict is going to go. I'm very, very hopeful. We are fighting against a bunch of different people. Diplomatic failure. Oh, that's not good. We're not going to get friendly with Russia, unfortunately. But I'm trying. I I, I don't know how this is going to go. I, I, I do not know how this is going to go. I'm very hopeful. But, uh, as I say, it could be a long, drawn-out conflict. I am prepared to use nukes. That's worth noting. I am absolutely prepared to use nukes here. Uh, 136 days left on the diplomatic mission, so that's not too long at all. And I'm sure we'll be able to... Uh, I'm sure we'll be able to gain a heck of a lot, or, heck, or, or we're going to be able to lose a hell of a lot of, uh, of warmonger penalty due to that extra relations bump there. Uh, breakthrough. Let's go for breakthrough. I feel that I do the same things at the start of every single war, and I still don't understand how the combat in this system works. And I swear to God, the enemy only ever do ambush actions. They literally only ever do ambush actions. And it's terribly boring. It's terribly, terribly boring. Uh, t new inventory units, great. Uh, let's get boats. I haven't bought boats in a while. Let's get some brand new boats. Okay, we're getting up there. Perfect, we won the breakthrough. 
let's let's do I don't want to do airstrike armor because that never works. Let's do secure front because that all that's always an interesting one and I never really understand. I never really understand how it goes, but it just it just sometimes works and it sometimes doesn't. Uh Sure. Again, I don't really know what's going on. I just go with it. Air supremacy. Sure, let's do that. Let's do that. We'll do another two after this one, and then we'll uh, we'll wrap up the episode. Once again, worth pointing out. Still no idea what I'm doing. Literally no idea what I'm doing. We've got a bunch of troops uh, in reserves, so we can, if we want to. Uh, go to war with the Philippines simultaneously because we are actually going to need to uh, go to war with them basically as soon as our truce ends because I uh, we've only got a certain limited uh, time frame to do all of our stuff that we need to do uh, air supremacy uh, apparently was a complete waste of time did someone Army morale loss us this. I, I don't really understand. Uh, okay, let's do this. Guard posts control. Maybe I want a nuke. I want a nuke. I want a nuke. How do we have so few warheads as well? I'm going to straight up buy 36 grand worth of warheads. Uh, pause. Let's fire these. Nuclear attack against Japan. Warhead cost 26, 20, 10. HQ attack. Uh, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's fucking do it. Uh, let's see what happens. I'm very, very interested. I hope it has some sort of an impact. Great. A little bit more score. Agents in South Korea. Uh, enemy gave up their operation. This is good. Failed nuclear attack. So we get a warmonger penalty for nothing. I have no idea how on earth a failed nuclear attack happens because whatever you do, it will do a shit ton of damage and it will still disrupt the enemy considerably. I don't know. Anyway, ladies and gents, I think that's a pretty good place to wrap up this episode. This has been Real Politics. We, of course, have been playing as China. Uh, thank you very, very much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.